Well, Junior Anderson and Mrs. Anderson, how are you both? Super fantastic. <laughs> Bless. Now, we are here in your home turf in Atlanta. The first name our weekend, uh, you're not just the host here, your pastor, Pastor Crute, but, but you were the official driver for all the guests in Neymar Weekend. How, how was Neymar Weekend for you guys? Um, it was uh, um, a, a lot of hours. I probably <laughs> got maybe four hours of sleep every night. We were, we were um, shuttling people back and forth to the airport. Um, they surprised Pastor Moore. I had about 11 um, passengers that needed to hide from him because <laughs> he was down in the lobby, but it was a lot of fun. Um, met a lot of people, reconnected with a lot of people. Um, relationships are still just growing. Last year was the first Nima weekend that you participated in. This year was the second one. What was the difference for you? Um, the first time I didn't know what to expect, um, so it was a uh, it was a little not to say overwhelming. Um, I didn't even know I was going to speak at the first one. Mm -hmm. um, this time uh, I was able to um, share my experience with those that haven't been here before like um, the young lady Monica mm -hmm. I picked up from the airport and she was so nervous and I gave her some that's why she was like you last year yes, <laughs> yes, yes but I was able to share some things with her and um, she used it she really took it in stride she needed a laptop computer I was able I had two laptops with me because I remember what happened to me last year <laughs> we were using one to do Skype with that's right on and I that's needed it to, right. to take care of some stuff so um, it was great to be able to just talk to folks and and talk to them with the, with the experience that I had and let them know that, look, I can't even tell you too much. All I can tell you is you're going to have a great time, and they did. Wow. Now, you were the, you were the winner from Atlanta mm -hmm. that was part of the first international business winner competition. Mm -hmm. How was that experience for you? Um, I was expecting, uh, uh, how can I say it? I was expecting to not fare as well as I did only because I know that um, my business compared to the other international businesses, tend, the other international businesses tend to seem bigger. Um, um, but I, with the right training, um, I was able to present my product in a way where um, it came across as a big benefit to the kingdom. Were you surprised how high the, the judges rated you? I mean, they struggled to pick that's number what, one. That's what astonished. I said. Astonished. Yeah. <laughs> well, I was astonished only because, like I said, um, Knowing Yvonne and his um, his student and um, Wendy and Agile and me wanting to even work with Agile, <laughs> I didn't even know she was comp when I saw her compete. I was like, oh my, oh my! And then I went, I went almost last. Yeah, you know, and um, yeah, I was. But it it definitely proved to me what God has done in me is what He's done in me. And now, were you surprised that the winner was from Ukraine? No, that like I said, that's what I was expecting. I was actually expecting. Is that right? And my wife tells me not. <laughs> but but I was happy for him because I was impressed by his um his vision, his will, mm. you know, his belief, and the same for me. But um, knowing Ivan, I think it was great to have an international winner, especially since it was the first international That's business true. plan contest. Wow. So I w I would say that um w we we um we allowed them. <laughs> now you also won the rookie of the year. Yes. Uh, how, how was that for you winning the rookie of the year award? Um, when I when I accepted the award, the award really isn't for me. It's for my wife. Mm. Thank you. <laughs> because um, uh, when I thought about all the things I was doing with Nehemiah, um, even this morning, she said you didn't even let me know who's getting picked up from the airport. And I said, I don't want to, you're doing so much already, mm -hmm. you know. And I told her on the phone today, she was upset with me because I didn't involve her more with this whole um, weekend because she was, she takes care of business while I play. <laughs> <laughs> so I got the opportunity to hang out with everybody and bring them by the business. And she was just, she had on her blue jeans and <laughs> she, she was blue collar <laughs> and I was white collar. <laughs> right. So, um, but being rookie of the year really um, showed me that um, if you persevere and you believe in the Lord, He'll He'll elevate you level to level. I didn't know I would be sitting at the head table as rookie of the year, <laughs> so I was surprised to be. But it's like the word said, it's better for you to be called up than for you to call yourself up. Now, you, uh, Mrs. Anderson, yes. uh, I mean, seeing just in. But last, I thought, what, two, three years? Your husband had just been climbing, and now he's 
interacting with all these high power folks. I mean, how do you feel about what's happening? I'm not surprised at all. You're not he surprised? Is, yes. I know the potential that he has. He's beginning to know. Wow. So you've always kind of seen all yeah, this. Even, even with the BE competition, I told him, I said, you know, you won. Wow. So you knew he was going to. Oh, yeah. Because oh, yeah. the judges, they struggled to yeah. really pick who the winner was going to be. You know, he was amazing, and I, and I knew, and I had faith in it. And um, that night before he came to the office, he said, well, I already know who won. The two ladies, you know, they, they just have That's what, from the first competition? Yes. Yeah. Oh, they have the first. They, they have the stuff in order. And I was like, no, you don't know what God has in store That's for That's not what she said. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> you want me to come to this competition and, and, and you're going to lose? She said, she said, I didn't marry a second place. That's right. That's right. She said, I had plenty of choices for a second or third place marriage. That's right. <laughs> now, were you surprised that the winner this time was from Ukraine? You saw the whole conversation. Yes, I was. Yeah. But I still say he's still number one number in one. America. <laughs> that is true. Amen. That is true. Yeah. Now, this yeah. was your first uh, experience at Nehemiah Weekend. How was that for you? You, you, you know, last year. I actually really enjoyed I just came in um, for the competition. Yeah. And um, I really enjoyed it. Mm. I mean, just not just that. I was really amazed by um, the gentleman uh, that won from Ukraine. You know, his heart what he want to do, you mm. know, basically he want to save his country. Wow. He want them to be healthy. So it's beyond him. Mm. It's, you know, his entire country. And I really, I thank God for that. Now, that, uh, biblical country have made a tremendous impact in, in, in your lives and your business and so forth. Could you tell us a bit about how has it impacted you guys? Um, I'll give you a perfect example is Harold, Brother Harold Johnson. Um, I met him last year and uh, we, I bumped into a friend of mine that used to live, a friend of ours that used to live here in Atlanta. She lives in D.C. And we were talking, and Brother Harold came walking across the street, and we were talking, and she accepted Christ right mm -hmm. there. And knowing that he was going through what he was going through, I didn't know then, I knew now. Wow. It's just, uh, it, it was an inspiration for me. And having people like that around, um, Brother Grigsby took the time out to come to my office. Pastor Moore and his wife took the time out to come to my office. Mm -hmm. Glenn Ripple took the time out to come to my office. You and Dr. Mosford last year took the time out to come to my office. So um, having a support team from BE. Positive support. Positive support team and people who really have a heart for, for, for being truthful, speaking the truth and love and want to see you grow. Um, that experience is, I, I don't think you can get that from Harvard or from um, your Ivy League colleges as far as um, the, the alumni support and the board support. So I'm thankful for it and, and, and looking forward to it continuing. Now, wh what kind of impact have you seen that, that BE has made in him? Oh. In the involvement in the MI? When it comes to the employees, you know, he, he goes by the honesty rule, you know, and what would Jesus do at this mm. point, you know? Mm. If I have a situation here, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to, you know, go to the aspect of what would, what would I do in God's eyes? I'd rather be honest this way. I'd rather do this decent and in order. And it really pays off because not only does it make him feel good, it, the, the employees, they respect mm -hmm. him as well. Wow. Now, are, are you guys going to be in Ohio next year? Yes. Oh, definitely. <laughs> definitely. Well, well, every year I'm going to make sure that I'm part. And what I wanted to um, say on camera is um, as a token of our appreciation and as a a seed that we want to sow into the ministry. Um, you, you, you allowed us to do transportation for you, and um, we wanted to sow back half. Whatever you give us, we want to give half back wow. into the Nehemiah program. Another thing, I haven't confirmed. So if that time. bill is big, that means it's a big gift you're giving us. Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah. Wow. Well, um, the only reason why we keep it half, you know, I need some money. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, it I can't like, give it all away. You can't give it all away. Go home. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? But um, no, we we definitely want to sew back in um, half of whatever Thank you revenue so we we earn during this this week. Mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna use the other half, and we'll go for pedicures and manicures. <laughs> but I also wanted to um, say that we we decided last year we sponsored um, two students through a, B, right, B. a B level, right. but this year. We want to sponsor one student through all three levels. Wow! So wow. are um, they going to take the class destiny. on Monday? No. Okay. They have, well, Pastor Crute doesn't know yet, um, but this is something that I told my wife was laid on our heart that we have to sow back into the kingdom. And what mm -hmm. better way to sow back but by um, actually helping um, 
create other entrepreneurs Amen. for the kingdom. So um, our goal, you said your goal is 10,000 biblical entrepreneurs in how long? 2013. Okay, so our goal is we want to sponsor at least 10 of those. Wow. By 2013. Wow. Now, it would be great to say 10 a year, yeah. but I need, you know, I need, uh, <laughs> I need you to work on that uh, <laughs> operating capital. And, and like, then it's done. And that's the, <laughs> that's <laughs> a man. But and they go shoot. Good. Yeah, you go we want to thank God for you and your wife. Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. I mean, the heart and the time you put into this need of mine, it's God. I know it's God. Mm -hmm. And we just want to thank you personally on camera. Amen. <laughs> What's in the future for Rosa Transportation? Oh, uh, we'll be a, uh, what, a... Uh, Say it. Say it. I don't want to say the number because I don't want to stop there. <laughs> so we'll be an infinity. That's right. You know, it's, 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 it's millions. Yes, Maybe yes, the yes. B, but bi right. billions. Bi yeah. bi billions. Billions. Say it. Mm -hmm. You can say billions. Well, I, I tell you this much. Nehemiah is an international program, and um, there's a lady who contacted me, I believe, from Ivan's country. She saw us, and they are in, they're interested in doing on paratransit in the exactly. country. Is that right? Did, did she see you on she the... She asked me for pictures of... Yes. She's she, because of... Uh, she saw you on the Nehemiah yeah, Internet? She, yeah, she's part of... Wow. But I... I, I um, she, no, she saw me on Marketplace Leaders. Marketplace Leaders, wow. Um, but she's somewhere in Europe. But what I found out is that there's a lot of handicapped and disabled people around the world. Yeah. And I was going to talk to you about that because I'm sure they're in Cameroon. You know, we probably need different type of vehicles for, the, right. for the rough terrain. But um, it's, it's a vision that I have is to do transportation not only on a national level, but at some point on an international level where we're doing the same thing that we're doing here as far as supporting, helping people with special needs. Real quick, we didn't say what you guys did. What is, what is World of Transportation? World of Transportation is a non-emergency transportation company. We, do, we help folks with disabilities get back and forth to their doctor's appointments or um, any, any type dialysis. of dialysis or any type of transportation that someone with a, with a disability um, that's disabled might need. They might need a wheelchair, they might need a stretcher, or they just might be hearing impaired or visually impaired or can't drive. And, you know, a nation's a, America's a nation of cars. You know, people need cars to get back and forth. The best equipment in the world and the best doctors are nothing unless people can get there. So what we do is we get people to the treatment that they need before it turns into something serious. We're so proud of both of you. Thank you so much. Amen. Thank you. Thank you.